Welcome to the Delta Math Solution tutorial. This is going to be covering using trig to find the angles. So given this information, uh, solve for the angle here and you're going to round it to the nearest 10. So we'll start here by drawing our person like always. So we can label our information. Here's our person and we saw that it's 93, which is your closest one here, which is going to be your adjacent. Adjacent, I think that's how I spell it. And 47 here is your opposite. Okay, now you want to make sure you set up your trig ratio properly. So the one with opposite and adjacent would be tangent, TOA. So you write tan of the angle, but you don't know the angle here. So you can write X angle here. And that's going to be equal to your opposite, which is 47 is equal divided by your adjacent, which is 93. Now to solve for that X, you want to use the inverse. So do you see how that is the angle theta? So in this case, it's X. So now you use the inverse. So X is going to be the tan inverse of that. So it's the same thing. So all you have to do is now just write X is equal to tan inverse. So it's to the negative one parentheses 47 divided by 93. There you go. That's how you solve for the angle. You're going to be using Desmos here. And to access any of the inverses, you have to hit the function key and it's right here, tan to the negative one or tan inverse. So you write tan inverse. Now you type it in 47 divided by 93. Here you get the answer of 26.81. So you could round it to 26.8. So X here is 26.8. Okay. 26.8 let me just double check our work one more time good 26.8 opposite over adjacent and we use the inverse so that should be correct and we did it correctly good remember we use the same tan but in the end we use the inverse to solve for the angle all right good let's do another one here we have this problem. Again, we're going to solve for X and the X here is this angle measurement of H. So let's start by drawing our person so we can label everything. Here's our person. It's next to the angle always. And the 1.9 here, that is your adjacent. And the eight here is your longest side. So that's the hypotenuse. So adjacent and hypotenuse, that is your cosine. So co, um, it should be uh, ka, cosine, adjacent, and hypotenuse. So let's set that up. We write cosine. We don't know the angle, so we can just write x degrees is going to be equal to your adjacent, which is 1.9, divided by your hypotenuse, which is just 8. Now to get the angle you just do the inverse so x degrees is equal to your cosine same thing but now it's to the negative one power that's your inverse parentheses 1.9 divided by 8 that's it you just have to apply the inverse so we need to make sure we have our calculator and remember on desmo scientific hit the function cosine inverse and it is the number 1.9 divided by 8. So the answer here is 76.26. So it is 76.26. But it is 0.26. So we round this up to 3. That is what your angle is. So the angle here is 76.3. 76.3. And there you go. We got the correct answer. Good job. Let's do one more problem. 
All right, given this information, you're going to solve for this unknown angle measurement here, which is just x. Here we have it. So again, let's start by drawing our person so we can label our side. We draw that person always next to the angle. From this point of view, we saw that 31, which is going to be your opposite because it is the farthest away. 39 is your longest side, so that is called the hypotenuse, if I can spell that correctly. And we saw this is O and H, and we know this should be show. Let's just double check. That is correct. Opposite over hypotenuse is your show. So we can now set it up. Sine of that angle, which is just X degrees is equal to the opposite, which is 31 divided by the hypotenuse, which is 39. To solve for the x, we have to use the inverse. So x degrees is equal to sine inverse, so to the negative 1 power, parentheses, 31 divided by 39. Now we can just plug that into the calculator. Again, you have to hit the function key on decimal scientific to bring it up. Sine inverse. 31 divided by 39. That got us 52.64. X is equal to 52.64. And it is 0.64, so we can just keep it as 52.6. We don't round up. All right, 52.6. That would be our answer. 52.6. And we did it correctly. Sign inverse. Good. All right. They just use a different letter here, but we just use X. Same answer. All right. So there you go. That is everything you need to know how to do when it comes to using your trig ratios to find your angle. I showed you one. The first one was a inverse tan. The second one was a inverse uh, cosine. And this, the last one was an inverse sine.